the fifth property is time shifting property and I will only give you the property I will not prove it because its proof is similar to the proof we saw in the Fourier transform chapter so let's understand what is time shifting property of Laplace transform for this I will take one time domain signal ft and let's say its Laplace transform is equal to fs and the region of convergence is equal to r now we have two options we can perform the left shifting or the right shifting i will perform the left shifting so we will have a new time domain signal ft plus t naught we are performing the left shifting by t naught now we will see what is the effect on the laplace transform initially it is equal to fs now it will become fs multiplied to e power the sign we are having here plus s and the amount by which we are performing the shifting t naught so this is the new laplace transform and the region of convergence will not change it will remain same now what will happen if we perform the right shifting this means if we have ft minus t naught there will be one single change in the laplace transform instead of having positive sign here we will have negative sign so we have fs multiplied to e power minus s t naught so remember this property the property is known as time shifting property of laplace transform and this property is similar to the time shifting property of fourier transform now let's move to the sixth property which is frequency shifting property and this property is also known as shifting in s domain so this is another name of this property and we will understand the property we will not prove it because the proof is similar to the proof we had in the Fourier transform chapter the Laplace transform is fs for the time domain signal ft and the region of convergence is equal to r now you can see when we multiplied e power plus minus st naught to the Laplace transform there was shifting in the time domain signal ft now if we multiply the exponential signal in the time domain signal will there be any shifting in the laplace transform or the frequency domain signal yes there will be shifting and therefore we call this property frequency shifting property so let's multiply e power plus s naught t to the time domain signal ft in this scenario the new laplace transform will be equal to f s minus s naught we are having negative sign here because here we have positive sign and unlike time shifting we have opposite signs here and s naught is the amount by which shifting will take place so this property is known as frequency shifting property and the region of convergence will not remain same in this property initially it was equal to r and now it will become r plus real part of s naught so this is our frequency shifting property and now we will understand why we are getting region of convergence equal to the initial region of convergence plus real part of s naught s naught is a complex number having real part and the imaginary part let's say the initial region of convergence is like this this is the region of convergence for fs and uh, here you can see we are having a strip like roc this value here sigma 2 is the value of sigma here and sigma 1 is the value of sigma here and now if we perform the frequency shifting this region of convergence will be shifted by s naught 
as not is having the real part and the imaginary part so the ROC will get shifted in a vertical direction by the imaginary part of S0 and you can see the vertical part of the region of convergence is extending from minus infinity to plus infinity. So if you perform the shifting vertically by the imaginary part of S0 will not change anything. So there will be no change due to imaginary part of S0 but there will be change because of real part of S0. So after performing the frequency shifting, the ROC will shift horizontally. This value will become sigma 2, sigma 2 plus the real part of S0 and this value here will become sigma 1 plus real part of S0. So now you understand why we are having R plus real part of S0 and why we are not including the imaginary part of S0. So this is all for the frequency shifting property of Laplace transform. But there is one more point which you should understand. If Fs is having the pole or zero at S equal to A, then F S minus S naught will have pole or zero at S minus S naught equal to A or we can say S is equal to A plus S naught will be the location of pole or zero. So this is all for the lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end it here. See you in the next one.